I said the old TE ever did. So Calaveras was an arcane engineer. He fussed at the core all day. He wrapped it with silver chains, and in front of it, he placed a huge round ruby so that it looked like a monstrous floating eye. Ah, so, what is it? Yeah, I call it the Oculum. It's my very what first What the fuck? Theory. And it won't poison me. Oh, no, 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 it's completely safe now. Anything I should watch out for? Yeah, try to avoid pointing at any mirrors. As he loaded the Oculum onto the Farfarer, Bernardo was a little concerned about Calaveras. People who were utterly sure of themselves he had found were either experts or horribly wrong. Or both. Or both. But Renato only needed to fire the Oculum once. He only needed to destroy one ship, the Emperor's ship. And the war was over. Renato plunged into the Imperial fleet. He felt the Oculum humming. He no longer felt sick. This was gonna be fun. Or at least, it was going to be over. So far, the odds are looking extremely well for me, but it has happened before, and uh, we uh, we know it's not going to end well. I'm just wondering how how does it go wrong? How how is it going to go wrong? Hmm. Hmm. Renato resisted the temptation to fire the Oculum until the time came. He could sense its arcane energies yearning to escape the sage's wrappings. But it wasn't eating him alive. So that was a plus. He felt good about himself. He'd saved a friend, he'd helped the rebels, he'd relied on himself, but he'd listened to others. He felt like the right sort of hero. Wise, yet decisive. Calaveras had been so sure it would work. Maybe he could fire it just a few times. No harm in that, right? But um, only when he absolutely needed to. Ah, Renardo's arm was getting tired. The core was no longer eating at him, but he still felt weak. His stamina was shot. But he had the oculum. When the ravens swarmed him, it was sometimes fire its death. So ah! Up, firing more and more often. Maybe he should let it cool off. He decided to stop using it entirely. I haven't used and it I once. Just getting warmed up, he thought. I mean, stop using it entirely. I haven't used the damn thing once. Oh shit, the platform is back, Renato man. Was making himself dizzy. Fun. It's been a long time since I've taken this platform. I'll have to see it's back. Alright. Who wants to die? You first? The Reaper of Souls. Well, that's a bit of a different set. Odd. It usually, has more the bodyguards. Was still hot to the touch. He almost thought it was getting even hotter. Well, that was ridiculous, of course. No, nope, anyway, definitely is. He'd only to fire it one more time, and then he could chuck the whole thing into it the once. abyss. And the Emperor's ship was now in range. Renardo squinted. He could make out the line of ravens protecting the ship. Zenobia in front, 
conjuring. And on the deck, yes, that was his Imperial Majesty, pacing in his golden armor. Renardo lined up his shot and fired. Caught in the beam, the ship burst into flames. The ravens and Zenobia exploded. The Emperor, too, exploded. Renardo waited for the beam to stop, but it only got brighter and the oculum hotter. Frantic, Renardo pulled the oculum towards the abyss. The ruby burst into flames. The shiny metal casing glowed, then melted. That was good. Now the core could cool off, right? Renardo ran. The blast incinerated him instantly, along with both fleets. The shockwave could be felt across all Erda. That winter, with neither empire nor rebels to rule them, the island slid into banditry. And so began the second age of darkness. Oh, again? That's probably one of the worst ones yet. But he already had all the secrets he needed. He was sure of that. He must have not used them the right way. Lux who needs her, a hero was the who best seeks balance, worst mistake who makes he wise make. yet decisive decisions. Probably trusting that traitor Lapino. Three more left! Three more left! The book Three more is left! The to the beginning once again. Faster than before? Uh, and he fell. The clouds parted over the aisles Look of Look at the core for like the last one, because like that core level is one of the choose. shortest ones to do. The rebellion was in trouble. It's like two fights. Ravens were scouting for the secret rebel base. They needed a game changer. Pieces of the Sky Ripper had surfaced. Renata knew that using it could go catastrophically wrong. But he was sure he could figure out how to use it safely. Also, a temple had risen out of empty desert. The Iblis stone was hidden there. It was a dangerous artifact. It could corrupt its user into a bloodthirsty monster. Maybe he could find a way to use it, to take its power without surrendering to its wickedness. And also, his old friend Lapino needed rescuing. Of course, Renato had a pretty strong suspicion that Lapino had betrayed the rebellion. And he had a gut feeling that he needed to use that to his advantage. Renato finally realized that Lapino was a traitor to the cause. And maybe Renato could use that somehow. Ah, Lapino. Apparently, the mad rabbit had sold a Pegasus that he did not exactly own. Lapino always wiggled out of trouble, given time, but he was out of time. Lapino's frantic message said that the Ravens were going to kill him for being a rebel spy, and that he had a clever plan. If the fleet reached him first, they'd string him up for that, never mind the winged horse. Or so Lapino had told him over the far speaker anyway. Lapino had apparently managed to confuse the judge by arguing that he hadn't actually stolen a winged horse. He'd only sold it. But wait, where was the prison? The village was empty. Had, had everybody fled the ravens? The Ain't nobody get in my way because I'm gonna one shot People you. Frightened these days. Just two weeks passed, Renardo had sneaked through an empty town and listened to the Raven's call about the Emperor's new taste in ritual sacrifice. Wait, what? There's no fight there? What? There. I'm sorry. Is that your shield? Not anymore, bud. Oh 
almost level 33. I might actually get to level 35 before the, the game ends. That there. Lapino would betray him, but now Renato knew that. What would Lapino do if he knew that? Ah, the balls. Well, he'd concoct some crazy scheme, wouldn't he? That use Lapino's betrayal against him and it would blow up in his face. Maybe he was overthinking this. Well, that would be a first. Dirty and bloody, Renato what finally about reached Destiny? Lapino. The rabbit was practicing his shuffle. You're playing Renato Destiny? Recognized the cards. It was Lapino's favorite deck. Oh, I thought you were in danger. I am. The ravens are coming. Oh, the prison thing. Right, yeah, we see this guard owed me 53 ducats. So we made a deal. They're very reasonable people, actually, for weasels. Now, I got a brilliant plan to kidnap Zenobia. We capture Zenobia, we find out what she knows. And that's the whole war right there. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Why you Capture Destiny video the Emperor's on greatest ten. general, who happened to also be a deadly sorcerer, and oh, his only daughter? Ah, that would be worth it. And it would be nice to see her. He'd always had a soft spot for her. And he felt sure she had one for him. On the other hand, he could still get to the core of the yeah. Sky Ripper, even if he couldn't get the whole thing. It must have great power. To make the Sky Ripper, the Transcendent Emperor had wrapped an armature around the eye of a god. Bernardo had already let that armature slip away to save Lapino's life. But even its core, the eye torn from a god, surely they could fashion a great weapon from that. The core of the Sky Ripper? Lapino was excited. That's an actual thing that we could just go and get. You've been busy. He sure had. Renato told him all the things he'd been up to. Soon they got to talking about old times, about wages they'd won and lost, and scrapes they'd barely got out of. It was good to be back with his friend. True, the core was capable of terrible, uncontrollable. I don't know why I didn't just skip that sooner. I gotta start skipping stuff, or else it's gonna take way too long. But the thing is, everything from this point is kind of new, so I can't skip too much. It's beautiful here, thought Renardo. It was nice to be back with his old war buddy. All right. Lapino was a traitor. But still, ah, I did it, again. it was good company. Fuck it. There was something sour in the air. Like the earth had ruptured over something that had been fermenting for a very long time. Snack time, boys! Called the lead raven. He could feel an almost palpable sickness in the air. And if the land could have tumors, they would look like these monstrous crystals. The forest was quieter than it had been. There were insects, but few 